uh, the students and such that uh, this is not rehearsed. So I don't know what he's going to say. For better or for worse. So, um, so Donovan, tell us a little bit about um, what it's like to be a teenager in 2009. Well, uh, being a teenager in uh, this modern time is definitely an interesting thing. You know, along with all the uh, exterior influences from other people, whether they be positive or negative, you're in a real stage of life where you're discovering who you are, you're developing as a person. You're discovering things about yourself, uh, your own interests, what kind of person you want to be, your beliefs, stuff like that. You know, it's, it's an interesting age, definitely. So how old are you now? I'm 15. You're 15. Of course, I knew that. Just to let everyone know. But uh, I wanted you to tell everyone. So you're 15 years old. So compared to, say, five years ago when you were 10, do you feel like you think differently or do you see the world in a different way? I don't think that I see things in a more different way, more than uh, my understanding of the things that I believe was simply enhanced. Uh, much of what I believe um, now it stayed with me at an early age. And it, my understanding of things have, has simply reached a, a new depth, definitely, than it was five years ago. Um, what about your friends? Do you feel that the teenager today, from the scene around you and the people that you know, do you feel like that they have added pressures to them? Do you feel like that there is... Uh, pressure on you in some way, to behave in a certain way, that society maybe has pressure on you to conform to a certain way, do you feel like, do you, have, do you feel the pressure to not conform in some way? Well, definitely. There is a lot of societal pressure that goes on uh, from all angles. You have pressure um, you know, from your peers, obviously. Uh, you have a lot of pressure to simply dress and act like everyone else. That's definitely one thing. Uh, you also have pressure, um, depending on who you hang out with, to be part of a certain clique, uh, whether you be part of the popular kids, the jock, the geek, whatever. It, according to the rules of teenage society nowadays, uh, unspoken really, you're not really supposed to go outside of your clique. You, you know, just conform to the people that you know. Um, if you really deviate from what society wants you to do, then you're considered an outcast. Now, whether that's a good or a bad thing is another matter entirely. Do you consider yourself an outcast? Not so much an outcast as more than more than a nonconformist. What does that mean? I, I simply don't adhere to the rules of society. I mean, I do have manners and whatnot, but I, I don't believe that I should act or speak or think like anyone else. I have my own beliefs and I'm willing to stick to, the, to them. Could you share a little bit about what those beliefs are? If you, if you feel comfortable with doing that? Of course. <clears throat> uh, we're spiritually, I consider myself a Christian. I don't adhere to any particular denomination. Uh, I simply follow the word of Christ. Um, politically, I consider myself a libertarian. It's a third party. Uh, I believe very much so in liberty, a person's right to do whatever they want, so long as it doesn't harm another person. And I, of course, believe in free will. Uh, anybody that takes away another person's free will is, well, that's something that's wrong. Mm -hmm. How do you use these belief systems or use these different value points <clears throat> that you've articulated how do those play out in your day-to-day -day life, maybe at school, or with your parents, or in how you live your life? Well, I definitely live by them. I've often found myself, uh, even just throughout a regular day, thinking about, oh, you know, what, what would I do that would act, well, what, what could I do that would be most appropriate to what I believe? Um, yeah, I've had those kinds of thoughts before. Um, I definitely... Throughout my day-to-day -day life, I want to stick to everything that I believe in. Do you feel like you're different from other teenagers or other kids who are your same age? I do. I do feel like I'm different. In one way, I feel like I'm on the same level as them, in that uh, I experience the same kind of difficulties and uh, ease 
that other teenagers might. But uh, on another level, I feel feel very very different because most other teenagers my age wouldn't be involved or interested in the same kind of things that I am. Um, most notably, things like philosophy, politics, and theology. Most teenagers you see would not ever be interested in that. They would be more interested in television, music, or whatnot. And those things are all perfectly good and well. But there's simply more to life than that. Like, for example? Um, well, rather than just um, involving yourself with uh, mundane, day-to-day -day things, you'll find some real depth and meaning to your life, no matter what your age. <clears throat> Do you feel like you've had a kind of meaning that has allowed you to have a more fulfilled life in some way? Of course, I do. Uh, throughout the course of my life, I felt like that uh, I've gone some, but personally gone through some real changes that have um, changed the way that I act and think and simply the person who I am, um, whether they be for mostly positive or some negative. Do you have any final thoughts you might want to add about life as a teenager today? Life as a teenager, as I said before, is definitely a very, very interesting thing. What many people don't realize is that, that even though they're once teenagers themselves, they kind of forget that as a teenager there are some struggles as well. Um, yes, we a lot of teenagers are sheltered and they are taken care of by their parents, so in that respect um, they, they should be more grateful. But in the same respect, um, a lot of people tend to not understand them as much, in that because of all the uh, development that's going on at the early teenage years, um, teenagers can get sometimes very confused about themselves and about others, and uh, I believe that's where a lot of the pressure can, comes from. Thanks, Tom. You're welcome.